Hi, so as promised in my first one, this is the songwriter's comments for I See You. And um, so let's get started. So I See You. As I said in my first vlog, that um, I went jump off and I sang, and that's how I got into contact with one of the, with the producers. And Flutes handed me a CD, and out of the whole CD of 10 tracks, it was this one instrumental of Funky House. So I wrote to a couple of the tracks, went down to the studio and showed them the R&B ones first, that's what was more my forte at the time, and they, they, they felt some of them weren't in love, but okay. And uh, I turned around and I said, um, I've written to this one, and so I showed them, and they quite liked that one, so we decided to record it, we did um, I just recorded what I had written, which is the version that I perform when I'm out, which you may have heard. And I remember the day, Thursday, it got played. I was in Ministry of Sound. I didn't even know that Flutes had given it out. He just came up to me, he's like, oh, you're playing your song in the, in, in the room. And I was like, what? So, um, yeah. I remember, the, I remember that day, that day was a good day. First time he, well, I didn't hear it, but I, 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 I first day it got played effectively. And um, but yeah, the song, so I See You, was first written when I was in year 11, which would be 2004, well, 2003-2004, which was when I was in year 11. And at the time, I, um, it was a situation of, you know, you're young, you've gone out with someone, and you, you break up, and then you think, oh, hold on, wait a minute, I still like you, but they're kind of seeing someone else, as you do when you're young, you don't sit around and find for anyone. So the song was saying, basically, I still like you. And every time I look at you, whether I we catch eyes or I just look at you, I can see that you you're looking too, like doing the those little side looks, you know, that you're looking too, and that I know you're feeling what I'm feeling. And that was what I was going through at the time, so that's why I wrote the song. And I didn't write anything took away. I mean, I was still practicing my writing. Still quite shy to show people. I showed a couple of people that's almost it gone. So um, when I got given the beat, I remembered that I had written this song. So I was like, hmm, this sounds like it might go. So I went and got dug it out and um, put it over it just to fill in the time. I swear I did the. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. And yeah, so. Paste it, packaged it very nicely, and that, that's what you've, you hear today. Um, so, for those who haven't heard the PA version, let me one second, I can get it up and I can just do a quick version of it. Actually, I don't think I can use it, but I can do a version so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, this is it. This is how I would perform. I see To the 
point of infatuation Boy, I can't get you out of my head And I can't bid a photo of anybody else with you oh. Look into I see you Look into That's just a snippet of what I, the kind of, the extended version, if you get what I mean. So, uh, yeah, there's a, just an ICU, I'm looking to, it's just a more popular version. But I, I do the one with the more vocals whilst IPA, just to give that a bit more, so that there's more to listen to and more to hear what, on the ears and that. So, yeah. Now it comes to the end of ICU, so, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you look out for my other ones. I'm a big chat box if you haven't noticed. I can chat for ages, but yeah, so some writers comments, I see you.